baby beard. Nineties to a T. Yeah, I see champagne. I will call it champagne. Oh, yeah. No, you got so many good episodes to watch. Oh, wait, I'm getting it. Nope, change my mind. Boom. This is funny until you have. No, but seriously, wave after wave of men. In the future, there's an owl problem. Sorry, but like his name, huge ass. Not sure. Do you listen to our podcast? I'm sorry. Blue whales on the moon. Like we carry a harpoon. God damn. I hate that we said that. Shut up and take my podcast. Ooh, that's almost like an elevator. Like a southern like, bell. I yeah. Three. I am a southern bell. I'm a southern L. Oh. Ellen. Ellen. My I name's dig. Ellen. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Shut Up and Take My Podcast, a future trauma podcast that pits episode against episode in a bloody glorious gauntlet battle for your entertainment. Mm-hmm. I'm joined here by Phil. Handier than a can of all purpose spray. <laughs> by Ellen. With some sugar cookies that uh, aren't strictly, you know, M rated. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean. Fry looks really good in uniform. He does. He does, yeah, yeah. I wish he it's hadn't true. sprayed the arms in, like gone for a sun's out, guns out look. Oh, yeah, that would be kind of camo vest. Does that, does that fly in 1947? No. Not. No. <laughs> Is that a. <laughs> it's not That's regulation. Witchcraft, there. <laughs> <laughs> That's witchcraft, see? <laughs> Boy, where are your sleeves? <laughs> Um, if you haven't guessed, we're up to Season 3, Episode 19, a very special episode for you today, Roswell, That Ends Well. You've coughed in the exact same spot. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take that again? Roswell, that... <laughs> <laughs> Roswell That Ends Well, which is... All's Well That, that ends, ends Well. Oh, oh. But Roswell, New Mexico. It's by a little man you may have heard of called William Shakespeare. Yes. Bill. 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 Billy. 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 Bill Shakespeare. Yeah. So I actually feel there would be a lot of crossover between Shakespeare fans and Futurama fans. I, I'd make that. Uh, I, reckon I, reckon like... I reckon there's a fair amount of people who who like the works of Shakespeare. Dick and jokes. Works of and... It's an obscure sh- reference. Sh- you're being sure. your own family, right? <laughs> Shakespeare loves that. He does. Um, yeah. yeah being your own grandfather. Incest yeah. and dick jokes are plenty. Yeah. Sure. So. As a quick note, when do you reckon sci-fi, I use in quotations, was invented? Like the idea of sci- science fiction. Well, isn't fiction. that the joy of this episode is that it is kind of coming into its own fruition around this time period because not only you've got all the like joy of speculating about conspiracy theories mm. and governments and alien landings in New Mexico, but uh, well, I don't know. Cause I reckon is Jules, that counts Jules as- Verne? So it's a bit that's the than... Victorian era, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because you had like steampunky thing. It, I guess it depends what you mean sci-fi. Like the sci-fi that we know it as kind of like the cheesy kind of, when I think of this kind of sci-fi, I think of like Logan's Run kind of like. I think it's a bit. that's a bit narrow for me. Well, yeah. So, I feel but... like anything that's speculative about the future and and tries to make a... Uh, uh, a postulation about what might happen given the current level of technology counts as scientific fiction. And for me, like you journey to the center of the earth yeah. or yeah. Uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea fall directly into that. I guess they, I always class that as steampunk because it is still. Well, steampunk's I mean, a form of yeah, science. It's a form it's, though, well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but because it fits so nicely into that niche, it's mm. kind of like that's, the steampunk niche, and then you have the kind of like fifties, like brightly coloured neon, yeah, sci-fi. people yeah, in yeah. white jumpsuits, sci-fi, and yeah, yeah, mm, bits in between. The director for this episode is Rich Moore, who we touched upon last week. That Wreck-It we Ralph. did, mm. Wreck-It Ralph director as well. Um, this will be his Futurama swan song. All oh, right, oh. he, he goes, out. he falls out, out, and he falls on his sword in this episode. Went out on a. Bang. Did he Big fall bang. on his sword? Oh, sword? falls on his sword and that exploded would imply lovely dishonor. comedy towards your way. I mix my metaphors there, so <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Sean Mashed. has no idea about human physiology. <laughs> no. what, what, is, what is metaphor? Uh, <laughs> it's for another podcast. You'll learn about carrier. it when you're older. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Writer is Jay Stewart Burns, who is back from Where the Bugalo Roam, a problematic oh, okay. episode. Cool. Mm. Um, a lot better with this one. And this is his swan song from the original run. The first right. four seasons. The so last right. last one he does for this. Yeah, until they get cancelled. Cancelled and come back. First time. Yeah. Our uh, air date is December 9th, 2001, which for the broadcast order, this was their season four premiere. Oh, great. great. Cool. So um, great way to kick off And correct me if season. I'm wrong, but this episode won an Emmy, right? The I, first of the original season. Do you want me to list off their accolades? Go for, for it. For this episode. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, so, 
Won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Animated Program. Won the Annie Award for Outstanding Directing in an Animated Television Series. IGN rated it as number three on the top 25 Futurama episodes. It's one of David Cohen's favorites. It's one of Matt Groening's favorites. Claudia Katz is one of the producers. It's one of her favorites. Comedy Central Futurama Fanorama Marathon. Fans voted it number five. And Sci-Fi Weekly gave it an A rating. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was shit. No, <laughs> no, no. no we had a... F- Freaking blast! Yeah, I I don't think I've laughed like that hard. Oh, it's in a, so good. In a we, while. we were pre-laughing. We're like, oh, yeah. this bit, <laughs> it's this coming, bit, it's this coming. bit's so good. <laughs> this bit, it's oh, yeah, this well, episode's amazing. What's funny about this, Phil? Run down the plot. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, the crew are off to see a supernova, uh, and uh, right before they do, uh, Fry makes some popcorn, but he puts it in the microwave and it makes blue appear. <laughs> and the blue hits the red from the supernova, and everyone gets shot back in time. Gamma radiation, isn't it? Yeah, something oh, like that. Doesn't science. really matter. Science. <laughs> uh, they take on a load of clocks, <laughs> <laughs> and they end up in 1947 in Roswell, where they crash. Uh, Bender uh, and Zoidberg are captured and taken to the airbase mm-hmm. and become part of history. It is uh, Fry and Bender's head's task. I was say, most of Bender is captured. Most of Bender is lost. <laughs> His head is retained. Uh, it, it, it falls to Bender and Fry to get uh, Zoidberg and Bender's body back. But Fry gets horrendously sidetracked by trying to save his own grandfather from, from nothing. From, from nothing. nothing. All, from being perfectly safe. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, he, he, he fails spectacularly. Uh, uh, eventually they just say, fuck it. And, and, and use their lasers <laughs> to blow up the airbase, steal a microwave dish, and go back to yeah. the present day. And not, not before, history, yeah. let's get out of here. Not yeah, before Fry right. does the nasty and the pasty. Yes, yes. Uh, a major plot point is Fry becomes his own grandfather <laughs> by sleeping with his grandma. Can we start there? Yes, <laughs> we can definitely start because there. It's very funny. I know this is a very futile conversation to have, <laughs> uh... but does this... Does the, hmm. Why does he still think his grandfather is Enos if Enos is killed? Yes. Right? So, can so, we figure out, can this time travel make sense? Uh, are we trying to go with what theory it is? Well, obviously it's not like diverging, like it's not quantum theory. Like for Clearly, me, for me it's predestination. Like, yeah, right? yeah, it's the one timeline and you can go back into the past, but like... If you did, it was always meant to happen. Exactly, right? yes. yeah. exactly. But he has a memory of Enos so... Enos existed, but there was no father there. So, but what? Where does the so memory I think maybe go? Maybe the grandma was Mildred. So, Mildred, yeah, <laughs> such a grandma name. Mildred. She's maybe so embarrassed or freaked out about the affair she had with a guy who turns up and disappears. She didn't have enough. that. She says that it's Enos's child, who is the person that she had a crush on, mm-hmm. who she always thought she was going to get with, and who. Who, who she probably feels dis- guilty over because he died he as died. well yeah. at the time that it happened. It's not an affair. Yeah. She's a widow. So well, she never. It's, it's out of wedlock, I guess. That's true. Yeah. Oh. Which is scandalous never, for that time. Yeah, yeah. Well. They never so get it together. makes sense that it would be shushed up then. Which, well, yeah. if she, you know if she was going to protect her like, honor, she says she would, she would be like, yeah, it was, you know, Enos, who I was engaged to. Much better sell than some guy. That also, some guy. <laughs> that also <laughs> explains I never saw again. why Yancey Senior, so Fry's dad, is a completely different person because he never met Enos. So he doesn't carry any of those personality traits. Like, well, Fry's yeah, dad zoops. is very much like that military sure. kind of Republican kind of guy, which is very much so he didn't get anything of Enos. I feel no. sorry for Enos. I yeah, Enos really is... do. <laughs> it also doesn't make any sense that Enos looks like Fry. Yeah. Because they don't share any genetics. No, because Fry Enos... just shares the genetics of himself. It's himself, right? Oh, God. Enos... None of Enos's genes. Wait, so... Particularly so Enos is gay. But so... Oh, so yeah, Enos is gay. Say... <laughs> I was saying that, but there is a... originally... A timeline, a timeline where Enos is his grandfather. Yeah, well, we know because he's got in, a, we know there are they multiple. Do look the same. There are multiple universes. We know that much. Oh, there's that's one. True. Oh, well, no, not one in that Futurama. We know of. Um, there's the the Farnsworth paradox where he they keep jumping from universe to oh, universe. Yeah. There's one. There's there's one we did a, a little while ago where they go. 
The parallel universe. The parallel universe. The other one. Yeah. I mean, it's just them in cowboy hats. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's all that's different. Um, so are we saying then that in this ah. time... Ah. <laughs> you see why my brain has exploded. Ines did father children, whatever, but then in going back, that wasn't predestined, but Fry just fills a gap. A genetic gap. Gap. Yeah. Uh, uh, my, uh, I think that Enos looking like Fry and being as dumb as him it, it's just coincidence? Just coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a complete coincidence. It's, it's the universe's idea of a joke. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's how, that's how I figure it. It's all predestined. Fry was always his own grandfather. Yeah. And Enos just happens to share many traits with him. Poor <laughs> that's Enos. <it. laughs> all right. So let's... This poor guy. Let's put that aside. Let's go with that. I think we've... Okay. We've ca- canonically solved the issue. Great. I have. Well done, yeah. <laughs> Well, you can puzzle about it in your own time. I will. <laughs> Good. You'll be up and down. No, wait. <laughs> I think we also need to touch upon the bender functions of the week. Uh, yeah, where well, he can float if yep. you reconfigure uh, his body into also, a UFO shape. Yeah, look. Is that going to buff out? Like, <laughs> clearly, Bender shaped like a UFO is they, not the natural shape yeah, yeah, or they size that. of Bender's body. <laughs> they force that into so shape. So, is he. Is, it'll buff out, right? I love it if he just stayed like that <laughs> yeah. for the rest of the season. <laughs> Oh, continuity wise, that would be amazing. <laughs> That's just a canonical continuation. Con- continuity wise, yep. axe. 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 Let me this from like this, you. This is from like a, the second episode or something. Um, it's from it's the Christmas Christmas episode. Episode. It's Xmas story. Xmas yeah. story, yeah. Yeah. People say axe now. Oh, axe. Fry. Let me axe you something. <laughs> <laughs> because there's an episode, it's Anthology of Interest 1, where they remember to say axe. Yeah. And then five lines later, they say ask. ask yeah. I was like, why? Oh, no. no. <laughs> it was so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> they probably put it in there to fuck with people like yeah, us. Yeah, <laughs> that's Sir, true. Your wife's hysterical, so I'm going to address this to you. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> um, yeah, go. No, I was just laughing at the problematic 50s. I do love that they go the all gender out jokes. with it. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the oven <laughs> that will cook a roast in five hours it's... has an, uh, an ironing board and a, a foot, foot soaker a because foot you'll soaker. be standing in front of it <laughs> all day. <laughs> she, at the very least... Tears cartilage in his knee. Yeah, like his but, knee yeah, he's bends like, in a very bad this way. This is a good moment for Leela. Yeah, I like when Leela's frustration and violence is directed at a good target, <laughs> and that is one of the best. You've intentionally 50, the whole of fifty sexism. In, yeah, you've intentionally built up like <laughs> in like three lines. This person, it's like, oh yeah, I don't care what happens to him anymore. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, how does, great finisher for that yeah. scene, isn't it? <laughs> Women, it's does, really tight writing in this uh, episode. Yeah, and uh, Farnsworth really playing into the bit. <laughs> that yeah, they're a I love couple. his freaking suit. Oh my you god, don't it's cook whoa. enough roasts, Leela. <laughs> <laughs> he really pulls it off. Yeah. too. the suit is so the good suit. with his super high pants. Yeah. Oh um, my and that god. lovely orange tinge. Yeah, oh. zoot oh, suits. It's, it's great. Bring them back. A little feather um, and everything. How does the Gas, like the stovetop, it's a gas stovetop. How yeah. does it light without any ignition? Like those, no electric, electric ignition, yeah, yeah. Those you have to light yourself with a lighter or a match. So how does she... So it's predestined. So it was always oh, okay. going to be lit up. <laughs> so we, someone, someone in a podcast pointed out an animation error. So we're going to have to rescind your Emmy. <laughs> Can I take all your oh, awards? Well, I mean, I can take that Emmy now. Yeah, yeah it's I yours. It becomes it. yours. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Just put yeah, it on yeah. my shelf, finally. <laughs> yeah, and hang your jewelry from it. Thank you. Thank We're you. getting the hang of throwbacks now. It's good. We are. <laughs> Soidberg. Yes. <laughs> Soidberg shines. Love he is Zoidberg. so good in this episode. This is his moment. Oh, this is his shining moment. And oh. I've, oh, <laughs> just everything. Absolute disgust directed towards him, and he's just being so yeah. lovable. Oh, oh, oh uh, back to Bender functions though. Before uh, Zoidberg UFO. uses uses oh, his arm as yeah. a litter picking oh, device, yes. so good. which is just really satisfying. Um, and they use Bender as binoculars. Yeah. Yes. 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 Anything is that else? everything? Ah, uh, a lot of function. Extra that's what functions. I've got. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I think that's it. Clearly, this is the episode of like miscellaneous 
bodily parts. Yes. But the thing Bender is, can function without bits of his brain. And Zoidberg's got like five organs apiece <laughs> that can just be thrown away but, and not affect him in any way. Bender's devil insides egg. looks so cheap. Yes. He looks so cheaply Bender. made. Like just little cogs and like, what is he? Uh, microchips. <laughs> hey, that's my brain. Yeah. He is a feat of engineering. Yeah, He's for sure. Yeah. He, he, he really obeys cartoon robotics. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I guess I'll try he, and move my legs. <laughs> He's meant to look like old timey sci-fi. That's robots. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is retro sci-fi himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so. Zoidberg is... Uh, this is a star maker. If he wasn't already a star, this would be his star performance. So oh, it is I, golden. I from can't start believe to I missed it the first time I watched it. But that single frame of just President Truman and the other guy like sitting down to interrogate him, and his smile. He's, oh, he's got so such happy. a lovely beaming smile. <laughs> it's like a real super it's... close up, right? With extra shading to, yeah, to like show his yeah, face, exactly. like leaning forward, like how big his <laughs> mouth is distended because he's just so, <laughs> so happy, happy to, to be. be... <laughs> the important part is I'm meeting you people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's it? like he's so happy through his autopsy. Yeah. Oh. He's happy to be left alone to pick up the rubbish that is Bender's body. He has a right old time no matter what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, he's just amusing. It's like a kid, you know, go play. And he's just amusing himself and then... Just relentlessly positive. Yeah. <laughs> it's so adorable. Like, imagine, imagine that if you got... Oh. Um, okay, here's a plan. <laughs> if someone Phil, was cutting me open. Yeah. Phil, you pack up the podcast. Ellen, take five. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes! Hey, hey. I'm being useful. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Yeah. I'm down for whatever. I'm up for whatever, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I will quote a lot during this episode. So just, I, just I question me down. the Greg Kinnear reference here. Who is Greg yeah. Kinnear? Is Greg an he's an actor. He's is an actor, from, right? I, he is an actor. Yeah, yeah, let me, the joke is that he fades away into nothing, though. Yes. That, Which, that is kind of the point. I mean, I don't want to. Is that, <laughs> is that the, the, the reference it will date? Yeah. So you will recognise Greg Kinnear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what he looks okay, like. Sure. You don't need to show me. Yeah, yeah, Greg. Yeah, and I'm yeah. trying to. I'm but, trying to find yeah, out what he was sure. doing at the yeah. time. Nothing, obviously. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Fading if, into obscurity yeah, is the joke. If that's a joke, then uh, he couldn't have been doing too much. Well, I mean, he hasn't really done anything now, has he? I don't know what he's doing at the moment. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> right in. If in, you're Greg Kinnear and you want to tell us what you've been up to, in 2002 he did We Were Soldiers and Autofocus. Cool. That yep. means yeah. nothing to me. I vaguely heard we were soldiers. And then he did uh, uh, Stuck on You, the Matt Damon, uh, the the, um, oh, no. the twins. When oh, they can join geez. twins, the rom-com. Yeah. Nope. Oh, no. Yeah, he Haven't did that. None of this. So, <laughs> uh, I think okay, that, sure. that joke that, is that, warranted. That deals with that yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, we sorted this out. Um, the, the opening gag tagline at the beginning. Yeah, what does it say? I missed it. It says, fun for the whole family, in brackets, except grandma and grandpa, which oh, actually relates to the episode. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I would not I... want to show my grandparents this. They would not understand, uh, no. even remotely. Maybe not. I feel like... I Mine know. neither, actually. Can I have a chuckle? My, my, my <laughs> good. Gran- <laughs> good. You have good grandparents. My grandparents are conservative German Christians. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no. Well, no. I could show it to the Italian side, because, well, my nonna doesn't speak any English, so she'll be she'll fine. laugh at the Maybe visual she'll gags. Laugh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she might actually piece together half the plot. <laughs> <Frank and here. laughs> uh, um, maybe the, uh, the 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 grandma gag in this is really good. The way that, I'm that sorry, she imme- dearie. <laughs> I'm hard of hearing. She immediately turns into yeah. an eighty year old woman. Is, woman is, it, it, is knitting. It is interesting to see how that kind of like yes, yeah, sexy Southern Belle accent does without doing anything translates into. Yes, old woman, but then also like sexy Southern Belle. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's the same voice. Yeah, you just have to put some glasses on. How about these <laughs> cookies? Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, dear? Yeah, come back um, to bed. I'm hard of hearing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice reveal as well. <laughs> when in the morning he's lying there and they're all just She's standing disappointed. Immediately knitting. Yeah, no, but Post-coital the way they're knit. <laughs> 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 the way they're standing outside his window, disappointed. <laughs> like, taking it's it in. Really, yeah, and yeah. It's like, before oh, they react. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Jeez. Like how how much Fry had just you know absolved himself of any wrongdoing in that instant. He's like, yeah, 
What's up? She was yeah. The, no, it's fine. I sorted it out. <laughs> let <laughs> me it. tell you though, like a, a dame like Mildred, she's willing to settle. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, for not, a, for not a, for only for Enos but for Fry. Like <laughs> uh, sh- as they I are mentioned, both punching above their weight. Fry in so. uniform is just That's an extra true. level of sex. Well, yeah, very true. maybe she has a thing for guys in uniform. She must do. I think mm. so. That would be it. <laughs> she, has a, she, has, she has a picture of a nuclear bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Everything love, reminds me of Enos. I love the um, the good bisexual pinup calendar there. You've got options for everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've got the Betty Gray ball. Well, also, also anyone who doesn't recognize the the pinup girl. In this episode, it's it's obviously Betty Grable, very famous. Yep, the, the pinup girl, the pinup pin on girl. everything. Uh, she had her legs insured for a million dollars. What, put, mama? Yeah, put them on a table and slap them and go. It's five thousand there. <laughs> so this is this is a million dollars in nineteen forties money. Yeah. Oh, Which so what is that? A uh, lot, a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, uh, and on billion. the next page. Uh, a, like a buff hunter. Yeah, I <laughs> like I, a ranger. I'm pretty sure that's not any pinup that no, I know the, of. The <laughs> pinup man. Yeah, I yeah, don't, think, I don't, don't think he exists. I like that some things transform into pre- earlier versions of themselves. The yeah. popcorn, popcorn into just corn. Into just corn. corn. It's and less pop than ever. <laughs> <laughs> the the like his highly detailed chronometer. It's Trans- a pin-up just, calendar. Just turns into a pin-up calendar. <laughs> and it's just inconsistent. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like, some things do, some things don't. There's a few in- like little inconsistencies. But they lean it's into it so really hard. Oh, yeah. it's fine. Like, one thing that it's a tiny detail, but, you know, from the explosion, we see everyone from Planet Express on the couch, like, at the very far end of the ship, and then very far away. Fry is in like the little escape the ladder little thing, hole. yeah, mm. and then within a second he's at the couch with the rest of them. Oh, right, even okay. though the way that the ship is like tilted, tilted, he would have just fallen straight downstairs. Uh, Lift your game, animators. We yeah, know right. these things. You another hats. another award revoked. <laughs> Thanks. Take their, <laughs> take, take their Annie as well now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just got an Annie too. Well done. Everything's I'm, going I'll, up, Millhouse. We learned something new about Fry as well. What is the not the disorder, but what they what you have when apparently you can smell color? Oh, synesthesia. Synes- yeah, synesthesia. Fry has that. He what? smells blue. Is anything? Yeah. Does <laughs> yeah, anything does smell, smell blue? blue to you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fry's seen well, a, because I he's feel... got a lot of interesting brain things, right? Because That's of right. this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Now, yep. Mm. It all links back around to why Fry is, his brain operates abnormally. So yeah. Now officially become the most important person on the planet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it uh, obviously it can be sorted out within a few gene pools because Farnsworth's very bright. I mean, he's sort of tangentially. He's, <laughs> he's a mad of, genius. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah, well, and he's, he's like the great n- nephew. Great, yeah. great, 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 great. So, like I said, minutes. you've got some variety back into yes. the gene pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, at least there's a there's like a, a generation removed yeah. before Fry to sort of mix things back up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what, as well as that, I I just I was looking at it going, hmm. I wonder if all these awards are going to translate to it being as great as it actually is. It's just such a fun sci-fi adventure. Yes. It's mm. grand. It's like got these huge themes. We know it has great ramifications down the line. Yep. It's just fun. It's just oh, fun. Oh, it's really good fun. It's kind of like the Bill and Ted of <laughs> Futurama yeah. where it's like we're going to play with time and it's going to be hilarious and funny and yeah. you might learn something as well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. But <laughs> uh, I learned stuff. <laughs> We learn who Greg Kinnear is. Yeah, and it's just it's just full it's full of great gags. Like uh, in all the time I've uh, covered uh, s- secret things in sheets, I've never had a chance to reveal something quite as shocking as this. <laughs> President Truman <laughs> bursting out of is it canned, canned, eggs. canned, canned eggs. eggs? And there was no like seat a robot in there. swinging his yeah. arms. <laughs> yes. There was no seat, so he was just standing upright yeah. the entire time. <laughs> I don't know too much about American presidents, but. That I think rings true for President Truman. True. <laughs> I think that's okay. Cash, what? Yeah. <laughs> He's a really eccentric president, isn't he? Yeah, we've got the um 
full uh full metal metal gear ugh. full metal jacket. Jacket. full metal jacket reference in the you know awful the drill, sergeant. drill sergeant with weird metaphors but then turn out to be real yeah he wants to eat his he wants the latrine so clean because no, he, he intends eat to, to eat, eat off it, it. <laughs> which we then see later see, in a nice payoff yeah, it's a nice little pay everything's kind of paid off in this yeah. episode but, yeah, yeah, but yeah. also Enos didn't have time to clean that toilet Oh, no, because no. he was taking her an adventure. Because <laughs> he was on a pile of rusty bay. And then why they left. They have- <laughs> Can I just ask, why is there a pile of rusty bayonets in, well, <laughs> in where would 1947? You put them? I think they still have bayonets. I wouldn't keep them around. <laughs> for no, that I wouldn't long. just leave them. They need to be on the somewhere. <laughs> because they haven't been used in several hundred years. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I feel like they're still using bayonets on their weapons. Now? In the 40s. Oh. <laughs> really? I still think you, think you still yeah. stick a knife on the well, end of a gun. Well, that was, uh, that was days, used yeah. quite prevalently in the Vietnam War as well, I yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, wow. Anything that involves a bit of close combat, you stick a knife on the end of the gun. You're not the still only still one effective. with historical references are plenty. Well, yeah. well, well. Where's my Egyptian <laughs> reference this week? You don't get any, but you do get Betty Grable and the fun fact about her. And she's million dollar gams. Million dollar right. gams. And she did good. have million dollar gams, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I just want to highlight a few of my favourite jokes. Is that okay? Can yeah, go for that? it. Look, if there's any episode that's going to be quote heavy, it's, it's this one. This one. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, I need that for talking. <laughs> Soars faster. <Yeah. laughs> deviled egg is mine. Same deviled egg. Yeah, yeah. deviled egg. So. The same deviled egg. <laughs> You know what's coming, I l- and it doesn't make it any less funny. I love no. how the deviled egg has not changed in shape. He didn't chew it. No, he, he just, just swallows. <laughs> he just inhaled Did you see it. him with that buffet? He just yeah, flings um, things question around. Question there. Is that a reference to something? I feel like it is. What? Like the very specific splatter on the two-way. Oh, like uh, uh, maybe. Is that, is that um, Independence Day? Or Alien. I think. With the... It can't be Alien, surely. Doesn't one of the facehuggers <gasps> oh, jump against the glass yes. at one oh, point? Yes. You know yeah. what? It's Alien. But yeah, does, yeah, it, yeah. does it spit up? I don't know before? if everything splatters. And on then the, the blood, the blood splatters, and then he he sinks down low on the window. Maybe. I think. Are you talking about aliens or alien? I, I I've only seen. Alien. I I have only seen the first alien. I think in, I didn't. I think didn't in aliens. In that one. I think in aliens, a face hugger hits glass window, and you see it's over positive. Well, they do. Yeah. He does look like a face hugger, like, so you know. Yeah, that's yeah. why his face reminds me of. So it may be a reference to aliens, possibly. Zoeberg's a lot cuter than a face hugger. I like how polite he is. There's all that food there. Hello. He goes, oh, if only I had my wallet. Yeah, I have to tell <laughs> him. Oh, like, uh, it's free. Zoeberg, even if you had your wallet, there'd be nothing yeah, in there. Can, <laughs> yeah, that's he right. He couldn't pay. Oh, what a <laughs> yeah, sweetheart. Yeah, but he, you know, he has a bit of dignity. It's okay. Yeah, it's nice to see that he is polite yeah <laughs> even though we you make the pretense of having get out his wallet and then be like oh no i forgot my uh, money yeah. <laughs> yeah eat and run yeah oh. <laughs> and just like yeah the faces they make towards zoeberg and how disgusted they are with this he's he he would essentially just look like a big kind of human with a lobster face right so yeah, I, have you ever seen those yeah, things oh. where people do realistic drawings? Yeah, look. the ones of Zoidberg are pretty horrifying. Horrif- I mean, look, <laughs> even even some of the Leela ones are horrifying. Well, yeah. that eye doesn't translate yeah. that well. It doesn't. No, even sometimes in the animation, the eye doesn't translate <laughs> She's got too well. Sunglasses on, like yeah, and her eyes just like poking out from between them. <laughs> that can't be comfortable. It's really, yeah, it's just because no. there's no like it. The ridge where your know, like the bridge of your nose, would keep the glasses up is her eye. It's where her eye. Yeah. Is. yeah. <sighs> and it just does not is not no. doing that good a job of hiding her giant eyeball <laughs> at all. Do do Hermes and Amy? No, they're leave not in this episode. Are they on they're the not, ship? They're not on the ship. They're not even on the they're ship. Are, even, they? are they even when they return to Planet Express? They even around the table or anything like nah, that? No, I don't think they so. might not be in the episode at all. I'm pretty yeah, sure wow. I have. I wrote this in my notes. I mean, and no, that's the thing as well, because no. I didn't even notice. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it doesn't no, matter. No that's Hermes that's and great. Amy in this episode, which is fine. Yeah, well, what because are they going to do? they use all the characters they've got yeah, yeah, like, yeah. very well. So to and add there's a bunch of new people there, as well, right? Yeah. 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 Incidental and Mildred and <laughs> the, <laughs> President the Truman. Sergeant. President Truman, the generals, yeah. the autopsy doctors. The crackpot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the conspiracy theorist who just gibbers like an insane... <laughs> <laughs> He takes a photo of the ship like two feet away and, and it looks like the Loch Ness yeah, monster. The Loch Ness monster. <laughs> um, 
There's like little jokes with the they they uh they get the newspaper that say that says like an alien spacecraft has been captured and what does Bender take Bender from it? takes the... from it is like something about a gym being rebuilt oh, or something. Oh, the high school yeah. uh gymnasium renovations on schedule or something. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's like, like, what a load. <laughs> well, I like it because that's just where his head was placed. Oh! Yeah, that's right. It's just like, see. oh my God, that is horrendous, isn't it? I didn't even it? notice that. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're absolutely see. right. They didn't put his, they're holding him like under their armpit. Yeah. So yeah, he would only see um, the bottom headline. And I want... should note that this entire plot or more so the ending where uh, Bender uh, get goes, you know, get separated. Oh, yes. Isn't found for a thousand years. Star that Trek, right? That is a Star Trek Next Gen reference. The same thing happens with Data. Data, yeah. Right, he gets um, he gets dropped off somewhere. Yeah, so shock last, horror, right. Futurama writers are Star Trek fans. Right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's we're returning. So like, were you okay? Like, what was it like being buried under the ground for a thousand years? Yeah. And he's like, I was having fun until you guys <laughs> showed up. They didn't have to dig very far. No, he's no. like, literally, he's right the, there. Uh, the landscape's under. not really changed much <laughs> in a thousand years. They didn't have any trouble finding him. <laughs> no. It's just um, a nice wrap up. They're like, yeah. And then they find him and they dig him out and he he's ungrateful at the end. But it's great. It's great. It's a lovely wrap up. He has been through a lot, what? I feel. He's, he's right to be a little bit snippy with them. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thanks for coming back for me. Yeah. Why have I written down God loves me? I have no idea why I wrote oh, that. Oh, um, when Fry says. Maybe God loves me and Bender just, just laughs. laughs. I laughs, yes. Probably a solid 20 seconds. Yeah, it's really uh, uh, And there's no line after that scene. No, cuts. it's yeah. just. Um. I love the the weird food orders as well. So oh, they don't know Farnsworth's what to order. trying to order, order Soylent Green. It's people. Um, he's trying to order With, like, Soylent, Soylent Green. With Soylent shake and, he and goes, a Soylent orange. Yeah, he can't go for that. So then he goes for a croque monsieur. Which, yeah, which is, I don't, I mean, that's just a um, ham and cheese. Uh, yeah, it's a but very it's not, specific not in, French kind of ham and yeah, cheese. Yeah, wouldn't yeah. have come. Definitely wouldn't have been in Roswell, New Mexico. No, no, no. This in is 1940s. the glorious time of well, as the oven salesperson said, you know, casseroles and roasts and like that's right, canned eggs. Then it's it was, not a great time <laughs> no, for, cuisine. for cuisine. So you're not going to get that croque monsieur. <laughs> and she was you're not going to get mutton tablets. Mutton, <laughs> mutton tablets. <laughs> um, what does Leela ask for? Like two two slim injections fa- of femislim. <laughs> femislim. Yeah. Uh, two chili dogs. Yeah, two chili dogs. <laughs> I'll have some soylent green with a slice of soylent orange and some soylent coleslaw. Coleslaw. Yes. And then, oh, a 20th century professor. Oh, right. I'll have a croque monsieur, the paella. 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 Two yeah. mutton chops and a stein of mead. And I'll just <laughs> have a stein yeah. of mead. And I'll just have a small injection of femislim. He's trying. Yeah. He's trying. <laughs> it's a really snappy bit of writing. It goes fast yeah go by goes by so fast you're like what, oh, uh, what? And uh, the, uh, uh. two chili dogs <laughs> yeah it's the, great i think also that Farnsworth's like <laughs> really ready to just have to like settle down in 1947 and live as a normal oh he'd have a ball normal yeah. quotation marks oh no we're gonna have to endure the horrible music of the big bopper and the terrible <laughs> tragedy of his death <laughs> He's he's and he's until ready he to isn't be invested until he isn't and he's like oh fuck let's go home. Yeah, True history to be fair. <laughs> until he gets in his, his flying wheelchair gun mounted armchair armchair, armchair Recline, right. it's a reclining Recliner. armchair yes. because he has the nice gag of sticking his reclining to feet you know, up to lift yeah. up Bender's body yeah. and um, once again casual murder of many people yeah on they the just base. shoot lasers I everywhere don't think they murdered anyone I, apart from Enos I think Enos is the only I one to die very much this episode. disagree with that <laughs> just so many lasers everyone's they're missing everyone <laughs> the ones that you can see <laughs> hey, they don't show anyone dying yeah. Yeah. But there's a lot of laces. There'd be a lot of carnage, certainly. But also, it's a big area. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's a military <laughs> base. Miraculously, no one was killed. I don't think... I think this episode has, you know, uh, one casualty, and that's poor Enos. Yeah. Look, that's how you need to But sleep. he was always meant to die. That's Why? my point, Why? Because right? he's gay? <laughs> no, oh, God, no, Are geez. we going to go there? No, Bury whoa, your gay. So, <laughs> let's go into a vote. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's so sad no. though. Like in it's his just destiny. in his short lifetime, and he wasn't even like allowed to explore. He, oh, he got a Immediately got sh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got to look at the cat, but he had to look at the female side. And Fry was very <laughs> Fry stern was very about that until <laughs> Fry left, and then he's like, "Well, oh, now I'm hey, <laughs> you know, what? For, for all of five seconds, yeah." <laughs> yeah. Um, Five I, seconds can take you a lot of places. I do feel we should go on to a vote now. Oh, God, it's so much fun. It's I want to talk more about the fun. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty of fun to come.
more oh, episodes to watch yeah. and enjoy. Uh, I'm voting for this. I'm the I'm same. I'm it's not so even. Good. Yeah, I'm not I'm even. Not, oh, not... I just had so much fun. I had fun in previous one, but this. It's so yes. cliche. It's like, you know, yes, Roswell, oh, it ends well, but it is. That's it's why great. Yeah. it's, you know, it's, sometimes masses of people are right about things. And it makes so much sense for this episode to be like this big love letter to kind of where this whole thing started out, you know, hmm. where all these alien conspiracies came from. Like, you can tell there's a lot of passion yeah. in there mm. and like probably and so much thought into the history like they found an alien and mm. they found a spacecraft Futurama fits right in there <laughs> they had and to it's... do the moon landing for real yeah. because <laughs> the fake one they needed the space <laughs> and as we pointed out before like it's already like the show is already based on the aesthetic is somewhat based on 40s 50s yeah. retro yeah retro sci-fi so to come back to it is a, like a big tribute. Yeah. But the episode has so much fun with going, fuck it. Yeah. Where, where it has to, where it goes, oh, screw it all. Yeah. Yes. Don't go matter. nuts Well, now. literally, screw history. Screw yeah. history. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, That's actually kind so of the energy. message yeah. of the episode. Well, you, Sometimes, yeah. screw history. Because I guess you'll end up fine. You know, yeah, you end like, up where you're meant to be. Yes. Yeah, some- <laughs> if it, even if it wasn't meant to be that way, you'll end up. If pretty, the universe doesn't mind. Pretty, <laughs> yeah. pretty much in the same place. Yeah. Because you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. existing is pretty much all we do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, as line as far well. as votes go, we have a... Uh, we're, we're spoiled for choice Unanimous, here. aren't we? Voices. Voices. Oh, you voices. You said votes. You did, did I? Say yeah, oh, my God. Votes. I'm sorry. Votes done. We, we votes win. Done. Votes win. took, Roswell. like, you know, three seconds. Yeah. All oh, of three seconds for us to say we it. love it. We have it. gushed for half an hour. This is <laughs> a clear winner. <laughs> Gadzooks. <laughs> Penis. Yeah. I don't know. Well, well, well Mildred, the, we've done a lot of Mildred we've got this the episode. We've done a few Mildreds, yeah. Which is just shouting. I feel like the general is the same general who's in the 20... The, in the 31st century, who says, War were declared. Yeah. Dun, it's got the dun, same dun. voice. Is it, just John, <laughs> does that. is it just John DiMaggio? Probably. Yeah, Not, doing well, his general also, voice. The uh, the crackpot conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> That's John DiMaggio. <laughs> yeah, he gets UFO. the line. UFO. <laughs> There's, uh, we're going to do Enos. Enos. Gadzooks. I can't do it. Um, oh, what? what? It's quite a specific voice. Well, you sure are a helpful type of fella. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it sure is nice kind of you to push me onto this ba- rusty pile bayonets. of bayonets. <laughs> you ever get the feeling we're just going with girls because you're supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Mm, those snacks <laughs> cut my mouth awful bad. <laughs> those crackers. Also, Enos, don't Let's reach into other people's lunch boxes without their permission. Yeah, that is rude. So rude. Yoda did it. Well, we, uh, he's, be fair. Yoda's so rude. Actually, he's that's in character. An, that's another thing of someone reaching into a robot thinking it's a lunchbox. <laughs> that's right. It's a reference. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. Got all of the references now. And um, sure don't nobody any. correct us. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually super excited for next week because next what week is, is one of, from memory, my favorite episodes of Futurama. And I'm very excited to know if it holds up. And yeah. that is Godfellas. Godfellas. Ah, the robot mafia? No. No. No, no. no. Do you, Godfellas is you. where we find God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have if a lot of If you do to something right, people won't know if you've done anything at all. Yeah. yeah. Um I thought it was a Simpsons line. Oh. Could be. Well, they funnel yeah, everything through cool. Simpsons at some point <laughs> yeah, or another. We're for when Homer meets God. I'll see you very soon. Oh, that's right. Until then, maybe, uh, maybe. you can contact us at babybeardmedia at gmail.com. Uh, find us on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at babybeardmedia. All our podcasts are on Stitcher, Spreaker, and iTunes. Well, you can just find us in a malt shop. But uh, remember, one, one teen to a malt. Don't try and share any of ours. <laughs> <laughs> I have been Sean. I'm Ellen. I'm Phil. Bye, everyone. I, why do I always have said the final <laughs> bye? It's so like, you're the host. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Screw history. Let's Screw get out of here. Let's get out of here. Because it's getting very hot. Yeah. It's fucking hot. <laughs> fucking hot. Oh my gosh, bros. Hot. I feel like I'm. What are you guys doing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I- 
<laughs> I'm up for whatever. <laughs> I can't do it. Like kind of uh, uh, he's kind of Tommy Wiseau-esque. Yeah. yeah. The tragic clown who yeah. wants to be loved. He's got Hello? that kind of endearing cluelessness. Yeah.